Hi, good morning to all. Today we discuss about filters. Here we discuss about FAR filter and IR filter. FAR stands for finite impulse response and IR stands for infinite impulse response. If we consider an LT system and whose input is denoted as X of N and its impulse response it is denoted as H of N. The impulse response represents the filter coefficient. Then we can predict the output y of n and y of n is given by x of n convolution h of n. If we know the input to the system and its impulse response, we can predict the output. Or we can find the output y of n, y of n is equal to x of n convolution h of n. So for designing a filter, we want to design the filter coefficient. That is we want to design the h of n. Okay. We can check a sample filter. Uh, we consider a low pass filter. What is the low pass filter? It passes the low frequency component. Okay. If it if we consider a filter, its input, its input is denoted as x of n, and impulse response is denoted as h of n, and output is y of n. And the frequency response of the input signal. It is denoted as x of omega and the frequency response of the output signal is denoted as y of omega and the frequency response of the system is denoted as h of omega. And we know that the in time domain y of n equal to x of n convolution h of n. In frequency domain, how can we how can we do that? The convolution in time domain is equivalent to multiplication in frequency domain in frequency domain we can represent y of omega as y of omega is equal to x of omega into x of omega convolution in time domain and equivalent in frequency domain is multiplication where h of omega is a frequency response of the system and it can be represented as in magnitude and phase h of omega is the frequency response of the system and it can be represented in magnitude and phase. Okay, magnitude of h of omega and angle of h of omega. If you uh, plot the magnitude response of a low pass filter, here we discuss about ideal case. Okay, here we discuss about the ideal case. We plot this uh, magnitude response. This range of frequency from 0 to fc, we can denote it as pass band after that we represent it as stop band what is pass band and stop band pass band means the frequency range over which the filter will pass okay the frequency range over which the filter will pass the signal that range of frequency is known as pass band and stop band means the range of frequency it will be doesn't pass the signal the range of frequency okay and it is the stop band if it is clear that if the frequency is less than fc the the filter will pass the signal if the frequency is greater than fc it will stop the signal and that fc is denoted as the cutoff frequency and here that represent the transition between the pass band and stop band the cutoff frequency it represent the transition from pass band to stop band in ideal case its width is small or we can say that there is an abrupt change from pass band to stop band in an ideal case and also we can say that the pass band gain is one here the gain is one we can say that pass band gain is one and the stop band gain is zero okay and uh, in an ideal case i already said that the transition width of the transition width the transition width is zero okay that there is an abrupt change from pass band to stop band in the ideal case okay there is a no ripples in the pass band and stop band okay but when we move on to practical case here we plot the magnitude response of a practical low pass filter what are, what are the difference you can see here here they have ripples in the pass band and stop band there is a ripples in the pass band and stop band. There is no abrupt change. There is no sudden change from pass band to stop band. There is a transition. There is a transition region from 
fast band to stop band and transition width is higher and the, there is a ripples in the fast band and stop band and its magnitude is given by 1 plus or minus delta delta is the ripple okay delta represent the magnitude of the ripple and we can say that the gain of the fast band is less than 1 due to that ripple and the gain of the stop band is greater than 1 okay so stop band is uh, it is greater than 0 it must be gain of the it is uh, greater than 0 but its value is smaller but the value is smaller then we move on to classification of the filter the first category is we can classify the filters into active filters and passive filter what is mean by passive filter the filters made up of passive component that means resistor inductor and capacitor such type of filter is known as passive filter then what is active filters if the passive components along with active elements are present in a filter it is known as active filter okay we can uh, design low pass filter high pass filter band pass filter and stop band filter like this in the uh, using uh, active component and passive component. then next category is analog filter versus digital filter what is analog filter the analog filter process the analog signal only that means here input and output must be analog in nature but in the case of digital filter here we process the digital signal but the input signal must be analog and the output be digital output must be digital the input may be analog and that input signal is converted into digital by using sampling operation okay then third category of filters are fir filter and ir filter fir filter means finite impulse response filter and ir filter means infinite impulse response filter we can discuss about this fir filter and ir filter in next video okay thank you